Hello, welcome to Rigenix. In this video, we will continue our discussion on polymorphism. In my last video, we learned about inheritance-based polymorphism. If you have not watched that video, then I highly recommend you to watch that video first before watching this. The link is available in the description below. In this video, we will discuss about interface-based polymorphism. So let's quickly recap. What is polymorphism? Polymorphism is one of the primary pillars of object-oriented programming. As a programmer, we define it as ability of a variable function or object to take on multiple forms. For example, say you have a smartphone for communication. The communication mode you choose could be anything. It can be a call, a text message or an email etc. So the goal is common, that is communication. But how you communicate is different. This is called polymorphism. Designing the code to achieve this behavior at runtime gives great flexibility in creating applications that is extensible and maintainable. There are two types of polymorphism, static and dynamic. As discussed in my last video, in this series, I am only discussing about dynamic polymorphism. Dynamic polymorphism, also known as runtime polymorphism, it means in the context of interface-based polymorphism, several classes implements an interface and at runtime, magically CLR decides which objects method to be called. Using polymorphism, you can write an extensible application. I will discuss this in code in just a while. Let's take the same communication example. Let's assume I have an application that is supposed to handle different types of communication like voice call, text messages, etc. I will first write a non-polymorphic code and then later refactor it by implementing polymorphic behavior. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Let's create a console application. As the application manages different types of communication, let's create classes to handle those communication. For now, I'll create two classes, voice mode and text mode. Text mode. Let's create a method communicate. It just prints a message, message transmission via voice is started. Let's copy this method and paste it in text mode. Let's change the message. Now, let's assume that our client application that calls these communication methods has lots of code and hence we would like to handle the communication part in a separate class or perhaps in real time separate library altogether. For now, let's create a class. Communication facade. Let's create two methods for starting communication for voice mode and text mode. We have done a method overload here. Same method name, but the signatures are different. Looks completely okay as of now. Let's call this from our client application, which is as of now our program.cs class. Let's instantiate voice mode and text mode. Let's instantiate our facade. Let's say we call this communication methods based on some mode type. For now, let's take mode type as user input. Let's receive the user preference. If mode equal to 1, let's say it does something. So let's give a thread dot slip of 1 second. Else if mode equal to 2, let's build it, all good, let's run it, please enter the type of communication you want to start, let's say voice mode, communication starting and I got a message saying voice, message transmission via voice started, let's do text mode as well. And it says text message transmission via text started so it works fine do you see any problem here the problem is the if logic in the client code it decides which one of the communication to start so this is not polymorphic let's assume tomorrow you have a requirement where you have to send the message via email so what will you do definitely you will add one more if block for email mode let's quickly do that and see 
let's create a class email mode we can copy this and paste it here let's say email email started let's go to our facade class and make the changes let's go back to our client code and make the changes again else if mode equal to 3 start communication email mode let's instantiate email mode and pass email mode here let's build it let's give 3 and email message transmission via email started so we see that whenever we have a new communication mode introduced we have to come to facade make changes we have to come to our client make changes which makes our code fragile also error prone now since we have made changes to this class and this class we need to completely test the functionality of these two both as well together with your email mode class so how can we change it we can write polymorphic code using interface let's see how let's create an interface called i communication let's have a method here called communicate implement this to all the communication mode classes let's do that let's update our facade start communication should take i communication now we don't need these methods now now this method does not do anything related to concrete objects at compile time so what this method can communicate anything that implements i communication now since voice mode and text mode implements i communication we can pass this in let's make changes to our client code to demonstrate real time implementation let's create a factory communication factory let's mark this as static this factory just returns the appropriate object depending on the mode let's create our facade consuming client we don't need this let's create our factory object based on the user selection mode let's delete this all if condition make a call to start communication now do you have any if logic in the client code it just calls facade.start communication and the appropriate communication method is called this is a polymorphic behavior when an object implements particular set of behavior in our case communicate but the way it performs communication between the object is different and you achieve it with very minimum code changes in this way code becomes highly extensible let's build it let's run and see let's say voice mode starting communication and voice message transmission via voice started let's run it again let's give two and you see text message transmission via text started now say you want to add a new communication mode email what you will do you will create a separate class and implement i communication we already have the class here let's implement i communication make a small change in our factory that's it let's run it let's press 3 and you get a message email message transmission via email is started what did we do we just created a new class in our case we use the one which was already there implemented i communication made a small change in the factory and that's it it works magically now the code has become more loosely coupled because same code but you can swap things in and out even add new functionalities in a separate class and you don't need to make change to existing code in our case the methods in the facade and client code had no change when we added new communication email in fact if you see our facade method it does not know even what it is doing 
it just knows that it can call communicate and whatever object you pass in it will invoke the communicate on the particular object that's it for interface based polymorphism if you want to know more about polymorphism then there are related videos available in the description below i hope you guys found this video helpful if it did then please hit subscribe button to see more such contents thanks